Um, Jillian here in the Tropicals Department and today I want to talk to you a little bit about making up a tropical succulent bowl either for your patio or inside your house in a really bright location and uh, we're gonna get into that. Okay so to get you started on your succulent bowl you're gonna be picking out a pot for your succulents. So there's lots and lots of options. We have so many pots here in store for you to choose from but there are a few preferences and things to keep in mind when you're picking out a pot for your succulents. So what I'm gonna use today is a terracotta bowl. One thing we love about terracotta for succulents is that it wicks the moisture away from the soil of your plants, allowing them to dry out nice between your waterings. So that's what I'm gonna use today. Terracotta also often comes with a drainage hole, so that is definitely a bonus for us here. There are a couple other options you can use. If you wanna go with something a little bit more decorative, um, you could go with just any kind of ceramic pot would do okay. Nice to have a bit of surface area, a wider pot to work with. We also have, if you don't wanna have the terracotta that's quite as heavy, we have some nice plastic alternatives um, that also have that drainage right in them. If you are picking a pot that doesn't have the drainage hole, you wanna do something to account for that drainage in your pot. So I'm gonna talk about that here in a second. So let's talk about drainage and what that means for your plants. So it's always good to have drainage in your pots in some way or another. If you have a planter that's just filled with dirt, when you water it, you want somewhere for that water to go. And so that it's not just sitting in the roots of your plant because that can cause root rot. So ideally, you wanna have a hole in the bottom of your planter. Whether that's um, a hole and a tray underneath or one of the trays that's attached with somewhere for the water to go. But another alternative to this that we like to do here in the greenhouse, because some of those cutest pots don't have um, a drainage hole, is to add a layer of rock at the bottom, usually maybe an inch or so just to cover the bottom and some charcoal. And those are gonna help with your drainage so that if you've got a bit of excess water, it's got somewhere where it's gonna sit that's not in your roots. Another method that you can use if you're feeling brave is you can get a drill bit and drill some holes in those nice pots, but you gotta uh, feel bold to do that. <laughs> So next comes the most fun part about putting together your patio planter. You get to pick out your succulents. So this is the exciting and creative part because really it's just what you like the look of. Um, I've got a few tips on how to put together um, some succulents that will look nicely. You can kind of color complement. So say I've got a planter that's blue. Maybe I want to pull on some blue from the succulents that I pick out. Um, what I like to do is I like to have a few different heights and textures and colors in my succulent bowl. So today I've picked out a few succulents for textures. Um, I've got one succulent in the back here that's gonna act as a little bit of height. This is a succulent that has a growth habit where it'll get a little bit taller. And then I've kind of got a feature succulent that's gonna pull on some of those same tones. But I'm going for a bit of a moody vibe today with my succulents. So I've got some dark colors that I'm gonna pull into here. I've got a Haworthia succulent and some echeverias that are going to um, just pull into those deeper tones. And then one thing that I love to add into my succulent um, choices is something that is a trailer as well. So I've got that height, I've got those bold fillers, and I'm gonna use this guy here as my trailer that'll just kind of drape over the side of the pot, adding that extra visual intrigue. And the next thing you're gonna need is just the supplies. If you don't have the supplies at home, we can actually pot up your succulents that you choose out in store for you. Right here in the greenhouse, we've got a potting desk and our staff will be happy to help you. But if you wanna try this out at your home, it might be an awesome activity to do with your kids this summer. You're gonna need a few things to get you started. So we got our bowl, we got our succulents. Next, we're gonna need soil. So we have a mix here, our pro mix cactus mix that is awesome for succulents. It's got really good drainage and it's got the right nutrients for them. So this is one that we recommend picking up if uh, you want to get this soil. You could also use a premium potting mix if you've got that at home. Um, just be a bit more mindful of your watering because this stuff's gonna wick away the moisture a little bit better. And then the next thing you're gonna need is if you don't have that drainage in your pot, you're gonna wanna get some rocks for the bottom. You can use just really any gravel. In the greenhouse here, we just use a pea gravel for the bottom of our pots. And then we also have charcoal for you. So charcoal is really great because it's got antifungal properties. So that's gonna help so that you don't have any um, fungus developing in your soil, but it also helps absorb um, some of the extra moisture. So great for drainage. So get those supplies and then you're ready to get potting. So when I'm potting my succulents, I like to make a little bit of a design plan. So like I talked about, I've got my plants that are gonna go in the middle here. And I kind of like to play around a bit, see what I think looks best. 
and then I will plant them up once I've sort of decided that. So I've got these that I'm gonna add around the edges. It's gonna look wonderful. So let's get potting. Okay, so one thing as you're repotting your succulents, succulents have fairly shallow root systems, but you do wanna be fragile with them as you're pulling them out of their pots. It is normal sometimes to lose a leaf or two. You see this guy just came off there, but the good news is that succulents are so easy to propagate, so you can just stick that into the soil somewhere in your arrangement and you'll get a whole new succulent. <laughs> I'm gonna get my fillers first and get them situated. I'm gonna put them in a couple different spots just so that we can see them in multiple areas and that will really pull our arrangement together. And I've got my tall succulent that I'm gonna tuck at the back. What you can do to start out as well is you can put a layer of soil at the bottom, just give you a bit of a base layer. And then you've got something to build on. When I'm potting my succulents, some of them might be a little bit root bound and sometimes you can kind of tickle the roots a little bit, but you don't need to do it too much. your succulent bowl there's a couple different things that you can do you can either have a design that will look nice all the way around kind of like I've done here or some people will create it so that it has a bit more of a focal point and points upwards but both are just beautiful just depends on your preference so as I have them all in the bowl now I'm just gonna tuck some extra dirt and you can fit a lot of succulents in one small bowl. Because of those shallow root systems, you can really tuck them in tightly together, and then that will just get them nice and big and beautiful and full for you as they grow. here is how I've pulled on different colors so there's different color complements so in this sedum here it's gonna pull on some of the darker tones of some of these succulents and then I've got the lighter tones from sort of the middle of the sedum as well so they're just complementing each other and creating their own vibe So one thing that you can do as you're potting up your succulents, if you've got a little bit of a paint kit at home or you can go out and buy some little paint brushes, you can just take that excess dirt from the insides of your leaves and just brush it out gently. You wanna be careful as you touch the leaves, but it's okay if they crumble a little bit. This will just get all that extra dirt out so I can keep my succulents nice and healthy. All right, so now that I've got my succulents in the bowl, they look beautiful. You can leave it just like this as is if you like. Sometimes that's nice to be able to easily check the soil for moisture. Um, but one thing that makes it just pop that extra little bit more, gives you a nice finished product, product is adding some snaz with some top dressing. So today I'm going to use a natural tone rock. I really like this because it gives um, sort of that desert vibe to the succulents and that's my preference, but you could use any color rock. You could get really colorful and creative with your kids if you want. So you're just gonna gently add that rock on top into the little crevices. You can use your paintbrush again if you get some rocks on the leaves. And I just like to tuck it into anywhere where I can easily see that dirt.
Another thing that we love to do in the greenhouse, just to add a little bit extra texture into your arrangements, is add some natural pieces. So one that I really like to use is bark because it just gives that extra something to your arrangement. You can also add sticks or rocks or anything that you might find in your yard. Another thing that I love to add is moss. And you can pin it in with um, pins or you could even use bobby pins, whatever works, whatever you've got on hand. Just adds in some nice extra texture. So it's a bit of a misconception that succulents will thrive in low light. They actually need direct sunshine in order to thrive. So you wanna get the sun streaming right onto your succulent bowl for five plus hours a day. Um, you really wanna give them that. They'll need those nutrients from the sun in order to be living their best life, in order to bloom, in order to grow. Um, so that's where your succulents are gonna be happiest. And then you wanna think about watering your succulents, but you don't wanna think about it too often because succulents thrive on a little bit of neglect. You wanna let them dry out between waterings. So if you've added some rock onto the top of your arrangement, you might wanna tuck the rocks to the side and stick your finger into the soil um, just to be sure that it's really dry before you water it. Another trick that we like to use here in the greenhouse, with a lot of succulents, especially um, our Echeveria, they are easy to tell when they're ready for watering because you can feel the leaves. You can just uh, give them a little bit of a pinch and when they are floppy like your ear then they're ready for water versus if they are firm kind of like the tip of your nose then they are holding and retaining moisture and they don't need any more so firm means that they don't need more water floppy means that they might be ready for a drink so that's a little trick that you can use when you're checking your succulents for water another thing that you can do to care for your succulents really well is to give them some plant food some fertilizer Succulents like to have some nutrients in order to thrive, in order to grow more quickly and to take off for you. Just like us, we need three meals a day. Your succulents like to get some plant food. Not three times a day, um, but you might find that you're fertilizing your succulents every couple weeks in the summer when you water, or maybe uh, once a month, just kind of depending on what works well for you. Um, we've got a couple different fertilizers that will work well for your succulents. We actually have a cactus fertilizer specifically that has nutrients that are really great for succulents and cacti, similar to that cactus soil. Um, and we also have a Liquid Schultz 10-15-10 fertilizer that is good for your tropicals, but also works for your cacti and succulents. So if you've got lots of other tropicals, this one might be the one to pick for you. So there you have it. That is how we create a beautiful succulent bowl. Um, the rest is up to you. You can have fun with it. Get creative. We'd love to give you a hand. We have so many succulents here in store for you to choose. We even have these handy um, six pack handle packs that have got a variety of succulents. They've got your spillers, they've got your thrillers and your fillers. Um, so you've got lots of options there. So many varieties, there's so many colors, textures to pick from. We love doing succulent arrangements. So we'd love to give you a hand with this and it'd be a great summer project. Awesome and just make your patio feel like home this summer.